Welcome to the start of my Let's Play for Lost Kingdoms 2, which is considered by many to be far superior to the original game, since you can actually do grinding in this one, so you can actually build up your cards and stuff, and create duplicates, and evolve them, you know, to see what they do, you know, before you run to battle, and potentially screw yourself, so... There is definitely that going for it, because in the original, you just kind of had to work with what you had, and... carefully experiment by using the save feature. Um... I don't have the first game, so I can't really play that one and tell you um, how much worse it is than this one. I mean, it's still a good game from what I've been told, but this is definitely the superior Lost Kingdom game from what I've heard. And you fi I figured, you know, if we're going to do a game, we might as well do one that involves, you know, cards for a change, because I don't do too many of those usually. Um, even with stuff like Duels of the Roses, you know, Forbidden Memories, it's been a while since I've really focused on a game that involves cards, you know, in an RPG setting. And Duels of the Roses really doesn't count, because you really can't level up your cards in any meaningful sense, you know, besides raising their ranks so they get some new abilities. And even then, it's usually pretty time-consuming unless you want to use some cheap shortcuts to do it. Because those do exist. There are ways to quickly rank up your characters. But yeah, for now, we're just going to be hit with a bunch of um, pre-rendered cutscenes. So they look really good, I guess, you know, for the time. Though, to be honest, I'm not sure what some of these cards she plays are. Like, this one looks like some sort of bomb card. But most of the bomb cards I get later on are based on monsters that blow themselves up, you know, when people come too close. Um, though, honestly, my favorite cards in this game are weapon cards. Mostly because it's just easier to take things out with weapons than summon creatures. The summon creatures, you know, are kinda... meh. Either their attacks aren't powerful enough, or they're not gonna reliably enough attack the enemy, and... Once I get the crap kicked out of them, well, they're not really doing anything to help advance your, um... push through an area. Which can be... dangerous at the best of times. Though I'm probably going to have to ask for a reminder on the controls, since I don't remember how to recycle my deck right now. Um. For many generations, the land of Argwa has prospered, under the enlightenment enlightened rule of its queens. Mighty armies, ferocious demons, and even ancient gods all bow before the queens of Argwa and their enchanted runestone. But the lust for power is not easily quenched. Many covered the Queen's runestone in the power it brought. Eventually a way was discovered to mass reduce runestones. These new runestones were not as powerful as the real runestone, but they did give their users power over lesser monsters. The new runestones quickly became popular among the elite. Those lucky enough to acquire the expensive stones quickly gained reputations as fearsome warriors. Because if you can play with trading cards, you can become a fearsome warrior, alright. But yeah, we're following the story of, um... Tara, Tara Grimface, and... She only loves one thing in this world. Her stone. And that's pretty much it. But eventually she'll also become a figure of legends. And this is her story. But for now, she's a member of a band of thieves. <laughs> Ooh, we mostly got all, um, cards for, um, weapon cards here. Except for the bottom one. That one's a summon. Not a particularly good summon either, I don't think. But, you know, you gotta play with them if you wanna get the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. We gotta finish off the rest of the enemy, which can be a pain in some cases. Yeah, you do that. Okay. Um, remind me of the fight. <laughs> By the gods, I never thought I'd this day when Tara Grimface told a joke. Just go out there and start slinging around those magic cards of yours like you always do. Yeah, I know that much. Duh. That's obvious, but that doesn't tell me how to re recycle cards, because you actually can do that. You can actually um, switch cards out, you know, into... I want to get that fairy. Haha, <laughs> 60G. Yeah, if you get the fairy, they give you some extra cash. Which is why I wanted it. Um... 
Oh, sweet. Yeah, you need to pick up the stones so you can do summons. So it's always worth your time to pick those up and pick up the money ones, obviously. Because you're going to need cash at some point or other to buy some new cards. Can't go that way. I can't go this way. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be helpful or not, but I'll summon it anyway. Okay. Well, the summon got taken out. And I'm guessing I'm going to regret that because I'm getting the crap kicked out of me now. Taking hits in this game just sucks. Ah, gotcha. Well, you're trying to get the finishing blow there. That's what you get for going after my summon, you jerk. Yeah, I made him pay for it. Successful operation for the band of the Scorpion, thanks to you. Hey, what did I say? Confound that girl. She won't even accept thanks. But no problem, as long as she keeps doing her job. Jeez, she really does love that thing. Okay, only two stars. Darn it. I guess I shouldn't have got hurt. Okay, so I can select two cards. But I don't know what they do. That's terrible. It's not fair if I can't see them. Aww. It's two copies of the same card. It's not even a card I wanted. I think I can go back and just revisit that place, but whatever. <sighs> Let's see. I think I can just add cards right now. I think you can have a total deck size of like 30 or something. I forget how many you're allowed to technically have. Yeah, I'll tr we'll play through this again. I wanna get a, get a, see if I can get additional cards by just beating this stage over. Okay. That's not what I want. Okay, so if I hold the right shoulder button, I can cycle cards to pull up stuff I want by just being like, you know, throw this away, throw this away. So I can get what I want out of my deck. Okay. I wanted to test that because being able to draw the cards I want is definitely a must have. Because if I don't have what I need, you know, I'm just going to be in trouble. I think there's some new monsters I can defeat in here, too. Technically. Um. Because some of the areas they showed, you know, when we first came here, you know, there's some new areas to explore, so. Got some new options for pickups. Nothing too grand, but hey. Something's better than nothing. Okay, definitely gonna take you out. Okay, we got some chests, but I can't loot any of them because they're already empty. Damn you, game! Wait, is there a chest over there? Okay, how do I get to that? I mean, I know I can control my card when I first throw it with, like, the 
button, technically. Oh, just use a card like that, gotcha. Okay, what we got? Scythe beast card, okay. Sounds cool. Dark Raven. Um, potentially interesting. I probably should have used a lesser cost um, slash card though, because those do get expensive. I don't care for the goblin, so we'll play that instead. I think that one might be a healer. But I'm not entirely certain. Okay, those were locked previously. There's obviously something beyond that door. Okay. No, no. I can um, finish this mission, I think. Um. Gotcha. I hope. Um. Okay. Jeez. Well, that does it. Um. Can't open these doors. Okay, so I can't repeat this mission, can I? Um, after all, all this stuff does nothing. There isn't here, can't be resummoned. Which I'm okay with. Okay, so I can mess around here and kill things, but I can't seem to complete the mission because I can't seem to find my um target. Okay, so I can help you recover cars as well as cash, but that's a minor gain at best. Okay, so I can smash pots, eh? Seems like a bit of a waste if you ask me. I mean, what's the pot do? Okay. Hmm. Late swing. But it worked. Definitely a summon. Looks like I'm largely out of monster cards at this point. I should say, um, damage cards. Oh, sweet, a level up. Nice. Okay. You were a lucky son of a gun. A couple of times, but your luck won't hold out, man. I just wish I could find a way to re-clear this place, because I'd like to play for more cards. But you know, whatever. If I have to abort, I have to abort. We can just make our way to the high road, I suppose. Because you can replay some of the other missions, you know, as many times as you want. Just a few areas just can't do that. Okay, edit. Well, that's the best, but hey, go with it. And let's get started on our mission here. Yeah, we'll enter all right. Okay, those look like death cards. 
Not particularly fond of those, but hey. Okay, that's a summon. The raven's a a weapon card. I'm just not sure how it works. Despise what? Uh, perhaps. That might at least part of the problem. Huh. Your next job, eh? I'm opening this up and taking whatever's inside. Oh, a porca pig card, huh? Well, if it involves porcupines, it's gotta be great, right? Hmm, maybe. Yeah, but I usually prefer weapon cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, summon cards. He's gonna explain all the throw cards, I believe. Okay. Oh, I can. Okay. All the cards about only with the control stick to send a card where you want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elephant. Yeah. Sadly, I don't think he can open the chest for us. We're gonna need another card altogether for that. But, you know, at least we got to prove him wrong, and we got ourselves an elephant card! What's that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we already seen those. If you use them enough, you can get boosts. For your weapon cards, it's great. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I've already figured that out. It took me a few tries, but I eventually worked out. If you use the Z button, you can summon a more powerful version of the card for like double the cost. That's what that does when it puts the stones on them, so it's usually not advisable, in my experience, to do that. Ooh, yeah. That didn't hurt too bad. Um, I'm definitely gonna take this thing down at some point. These look heavy. I don't think I got anything that can really take those out. At least at the moment. Um, again, this place probably requires special cards I don't have at the moment. Yeah. It does hold some incredible treasures. The problem is you have to have the right cards to get in there. Because there's some helper cards you can get that help you, like, float over, um, gaps. The problem is you can't get those so much later on in the game, obviously. Because, you know, if I could do it now, it'd be broken. Well, that was cool. I like that. Well, now. Want me to die? Throw you away. Yeah, I usually prefer weapon type cards. I only keep independent cards in there when I need them. Okay. Ooh, there's another card over here. Ah, uh, man trap card? That thing sucks. Um, honestly, you'd probably suck at it. Well, it'll be nice to see you can do it. <laughs> wow, lousy ants, huh? Well, that's because mine's the royal runestone. Yeah, if you couldn't guess when they compare me to a 
of a previous queen. I'm actually a descendant of the royal family that got ditched in the middle of nowhere. So I have the most powerful runestone there is. Um, doesn't make me any less resentful, though. back here. Okay. Give me power, please. Um, red lizard card. Okay, so that one fits my style. Okay. Yep, deck points. Okay. I guess we can try adding a few. I don't know how well that's gonna do. But, you know, I swore the shot. How much does it cost to summon that elephant? Four? That's kind of expensive, I have to admit. Ah, oh, the fairy got away. Oh, yeah, what's he got to say anyway? Oh, so we're heading the road to town. Eh, yeah, darn it, I the pig get too close. Got him. Red lizard card can only be used twice, though. It's a sad truth. Yeah, yeah. Water has an advantage over fire, certainly earth beats water, wood beats earth, and fire beats wood, so on and so forth. Usually your typical stuff, you know? Honestly, this is why I usually prefer a variety of weapon cards of different elements. <laughs> okay, got some big swingers here. Okay. It's too far out. Not very strong, but <sighs> this one does not know what he's doing. Okay. Got him. Can you finish him off, man? Thank you. Jeez. That was harder than it should have been. Did you just throw a weapon at me? Are you serious? Go pig! Don't mess with the pig, man! It knows what it's doing. It's got him cornered. It's the ultimate creature. It's mean, it's lean, it's a fighting machine. That is some pig, man. Porky pig, I love you. You're awesome. <laughs> you actually do what I want you to do. It's great. Well, why not? It's not like I can confirm. I don't know what I'm gonna get till I do it. Ah, a bunch of man traps. Those suck. I want more pigs, damn it. Well, we're gonna just save for now. Next time, you know, we'll head into town and deal with whatever comes out of that. I mean, I think we can hit up the store and, like, buy stuff and start working on seeing if we got enough energy to modify some cards maybe but it's gonna take us a bit before we get there I might mess around some of these areas and try and gain some levels by killing things but I don't think I can complete any more missions at the moment because these aren't areas where you can just replay them over and over again unfortunately 
which blows since I like to get more um, card options. Even if the chances of getting the kind of cards I want are not exactly um, high at the moment. Until next time, then. See ya.